What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to ladies and gentlemen, another video today. The craziest transformations ever seen on my 600 pound life. Now, usually we check out the videos of my 600 pound life on the road page, mm -hmm. but it looks like these are the individuals that you said, you know what? We're going to make a change for ourselves. We're not going to take it. They did not take it. So they started at one leg, uh, one weight and probably was able to, uh, you know, eat better, exercise and, and get down to a much more reasonable weight. So we're going to check this out. This belongs to be on the on the main page. Debut in 2012. TLC's My 600 Pound Life too. has shown us many shocking Definitely as dollars, well as bro. inspirational weight loss journeys. Patients of the show start off at ridiculously overweight numbers as Dr. Yona Nazardin performs weight loss surgeries on his patients and coaches them along the road to a healthy weight. Today, we are going to take a look at some of the Jeez. craziest transformations ever to be seen on my 600 pound line. Be sure to watch this entire video as you won't want to get scooped, scooped up scoop. half the pizza in one plate. Yeah, that, that seems to look like a scoop. Be sure to watch this entire video. Look at that. Yeah, that was like That's damn near half the pizza. <clears throat> Video, as you won't want to miss out on what we have today. With no logo. Also, leave a like and subscribe to the channel oh, to show your man. support. That's ridiculous. Christina Phillips. In season two of My 600 Pound Life, Christina Phillips came to the stage weighing in at over oh, 700 yes. pounds. <laughs> at the age of 22, she Christina knew she needed to take action before Damn. her obesity ruined her life. Prior to appearing on the show, Christina stated that she had not left her house in over two years. Oh. Luckily, she found my 600 pound life after reaching out to the producers. Oh, they found she her. told Women's yeah. Health, getting up and walking just a few feet made me feel like I was going to die. I could. That's, that's, that's not good. big, bro. Just walking a couple feet. That's, I mean, that's a lot of weight on your ankles, on your legs. Like, your body can only take so much, bro. So. Drive, walk far, or go out with friends and family. Jeez. I was miserable. And I knew I had to do something. Two years. So Christina and Dr. She was now young went to too. Work. By the end of her 2015 Where Are They Now follow up, Christina. Whoa! Had I love to see it. That's awesome, bro. <clears throat> God damn. That's awesome, bro. She shaved like five people off. That's that's what I like to see. Undergone weight loss surgery, skin removal surgery, and a total change in her approach to food and health in general. And she that's weighed what in matters. at only 183 pounds. <laughs> Her weight loss ended up being so extreme that she actually lost too much weight. Oh. The doctor advised her to gain 15 pounds in order Damn. to be at a more healthy weight. Christina also holds the current record for the most weight loss by any contestant on the show. Damn! Paula Jones. When Paula started her she journey, she lost so much weight she had to gain more. Life. That's dope, bro. That's, Damn! That's dope. From 700 to 183, and then the doctor, hey, bro, I'm going to need you to eat hey, a little bit more. Two you, you, you got it. Hey, were, but. Once again, even though she got the surgery and stuff like that, you still have to maintain it. She could have she could have slipped right back into it, but obviously still she maintained it. So that's that's what I want to see. That's awesome. Right there. That's awesome. She weighed in at a whopping 542 pounds. Not only did Paula want to better her life and lose weight, but she was mostly motivated by the fact her husband had died from weight-related oh. complications from oh, weighing over no. 600 pounds. Oh. From 542 pounds, when the show's cameras began rolling all the way back in 2013, Paula says she's lost a total of 400 pounds. Jones took her family from Georgia to Texas wow. to start her weight loss journey. According to Woman's World, it paid off and she experienced amazing results, ultimately losing 400 pounds. That's the dope. magazine reported that her relationship with her kids has improved, with Jones saying, I can be more active with them. I've learned how to be emotionally healthy as well as physically healthy. As of 2019, Paula is actually now a grandmother. I oh. think it's no. I want this to stay positive. Yeah, she I don't know if that's her granddaughter. But yeah, you gotta you gotta get up on her too. Like, hey, come on now. Cause you I'm, picked up on that. Yeah, no, nah, I, I saw it. Like, come uh, on, now, unless that's not her child, so I don't know. Whoever it is. Somebody Come she, on now. Yo, hey, man. And that, that sucks that, you know, she lost her husband like that. Yeah, you know nah, what I'm yeah that, that's awful. But that's a wake up call, though. Like, yeah. you know, that's just early. They tell you that it's an mm -hmm. early grave when you Physically eat that healthy. much. As of 2019, but yeah, we need to get Paula is mama. actually now a grandmother. I think it's safe to say that her journey definitely worked out in the long run. Mm. 
Ronald both Shelton. Went to the gym. Ooh. When Ronald first appeared on my 600 pound life, he weighed 678 pounds, and his weight made it hard to move around, causing him to ride in a wheelchair. However, he had one goal in mind, and that was to drop his weight as much as possible. Although his weight journey was a bit of a roller coaster with many ups mm -hmm. and downs, of he course. was able to make great progress and eventually oh. got the results he was looking for. Damn. Wow. After weight loss surgery with Dr. Now, he was able to lose almost 400 pounds. Ooh. But according to In Touch Weekly, he was unfortunately diagnosed with Guillain Barre syndrome, which affected his ability to walk and required oh. him to be wheelchair bound again. Unfortunately, Damn. after this devastating setback, he reportedly uh, gained back 200 pounds. Uh, Obviously, this was out of Donald's control. But with his motivation, right. he was able to cut back a few pounds despite this disease. Definitely a great story. No, no. Amber has no, for sure. One. Amber has one of the most motivating and craziest stories on my 600 pound life. When she first appeared on the show at age 23, she weighed 657 pounds and said she felt like a nasty, yucky monster. With a lot of weight in her legs, Amber claimed she couldn't even that stand. That dog just like, hey, yo. What am I? What the hell? I got too much Justin Whitehead in my head yeah, to be watching. Nah, man. I've never seen nobody. Damn. Dog just like, damn. <laughs> what is happening here, man? I've never seen nobody like digging their leg. I mean, got to get clean or get infected. I know, but it's like she kind of went deep. It's a lot of mass in there. Dog. Amazed too, like god damn. Is his mouth open? I don't know. That nigga's just like, damn, bro. Couldn't be me though. Stupid. But dog, she went in kind of far, dog. Yeah, look at with look, a lot of weight in her crevice. legs. Amber claimed she couldn't even stand for end. more than thirty minutes. After losing twenty pounds in order to qualify for gastric bypass surgery with Dr. Mm -mm. Now, she underwent the procedure and ended up getting down to three hundred seventy-seven pounds within a year. Damn. But it didn't end there. Amber ultimately lost over 400 pounds and documented the entire thing That's via awesome. her social media platforms. I spent a long Good time job. not liking me, so I'm documenting moments I feel pretty, Amber wrote in a Facebook post. She recently got married to her boyfriend and is now okay. living a much better life than before. That's what's up, man. Angel That's Parrish. Awesome. Upon her first appearance on the show, Angel Parrish weighed a whopping 570 pounds riding in a wheelchair and relying on her boyfriend Donnie for everyday needs. Obviously Love Angel wanted this man. to change. Mm -hmm. She said that her eating habits had been triggered by the trauma of placing her baby for adoption at age 14. Mm. And it got worse when she gave birth to a child with Donnie at a young age. Donnie knows this and went so far as to say, via the Daily Mail, that she just stopped living after their son Andrew was born. He threatened that if she didn't get help, he'd have to leave her and take Andrew with him. Sure enough, Angel appeared on the show That's to some get motivation some help there. and mm -hmm. lose the weight she and her boyfriend needed. Parrish changed her diet immediately and ended up losing over 150 pounds. She okay. then proceeded to receive surgery from Dr. Now, which cut off another 300 pounds. Damn. That's amazing. After losing the weight, she reflected, It's been a long time since I could look at myself and see someone that I thought was beautiful. She even stated, I wake up and it's not to eat. Is to get Andrew ready for school. Nah, that's mm, wild. That's, Nikki Webster. That's motivation. That's Nikki good. Webster, without a doubt, Whoa. has one of the best success stories on the show. All right, now, she all originally right. weighed in at 649 pounds. Know what this is. And her weight was affecting her career in costume design. Luckily, losing weight ran in the family, as Nikki's dad had also undergone a full diet and routine change to lose weight in his life. <laughs> Nikki was able to undergo donuts. gastric bypass surgery with Dr. Now. According to People Magazine, Dang Nikki lost over 450 pounds during her there journey. You go, Nikki. She stated, It's hard to imagine now how I used to live. It's just become so vastly different. It has been the hardest two years of my life, but it's been the most victorious. Grown ass men. Gone. Growing up with Nikki, just like she was that. asked by reporters how she <clears throat> stays well, in shape after her weight loss. She stated, I do a lot of walking. That's my favorite thing to do. I'll walk at least two to three miles a day, or try to. There you I'll go. also try to do weight training. And that kind of thing. I go to the gym every now and then and do those sorts of things. As of 2018, Nikki is married and living a much happier life than before the show. Awesome. Love it. Chuck Turner. Chuck's Chuck. story is a bit different than many people on the show, but his success story is one to tell. Chuck first appeared on the show weighing in at 693 pounds, but his backstory was very dark. He said that he started gaining weight years earlier. 
after his first wife was murdered. Oh. Eventually, Chuck married a new partner, and things Damn. were going well, but his weight was not helping. Chuck felt limited to what he could do and wanted to help out around the house and with his family. They adopted a son together, and oh. Chuck realized it was the time to do something. Luckily, he was able to have weight loss surgery with Dr. Now, and he ended up losing 433 pounds. Ooh, Although his success okay. with weight loss is definitely a happy ending, he unfortunately broke ties with his wife. But according oh. to In Touch, he said in a reunion special that he was looking for love again. Well, hopefully Chuck was able to find a new partner oh, damn. because I'm sure he was motivated after his journey. Tara Taylor. Tara Taylor appeared on the show weighing in at over 610 Wait, that's pounds. That's two different people, right? The mother of two was practically bedridden with the extra ah. pressure on her joints making it too painful for her to walk. Jeez. She mostly relied on her family members to take care of her two kids before finally making the decision to get help with her weight. Luckily, Tara was able to do just that, burning over 300 pounds off of her body. Okay. But unfortunately, her weight loss ended up giving Tara more complications. When oh, I was no. 600 pounds, I was very healthy, never got sick or anything, Taylor told TLC for an update in 2018 via Starcasm. But since I had the surgery and lost all this weight, I get sick so easily. But things have definitely got a lot better for Tara. She's getting adjusted In fact, to it. she's engaged. Mm -hmm. Turns okay. out she's set to marry Eugene, the old friend oh, she Eugene. went on a date with during a 2015 catch-up episode. Not the oh, wow. I've never Not in my life been on a traditional date, <laughs> she admitted at the time via the Daily Mail. I don't know if Short I'm ready, sleeve, but, but I'm uh, going to take a chance. Now that I've lost the weight, this is a whole new world for me. The reason I am willing to give Eugene a chance is that he is a good man. All right, Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. Nicole Lewis. <laughs> Starring in season five of My 600 Pound Life, Got Nicole made an appearance at just 23 years of age. Mm -hmm. She was young, 23. with time to improve herself, but she already weighed a mind-blowing 684 pounds. Apparently, she was so wide that she couldn't even fit through her own bedroom door. Oh, no. And at that moment, Nicole knew she needed to try and get some help. That was the moment. She has two kids <laughs> with longtime partner Charlie, but Nicole wanted to do more to help around the house, and she had children of her own. Her story isn't very happy to start, as Nicole's father was placed behind bars when she was just 16, causing Nicole to go into deep depression and gain a bunch of weight. But luckily, after a few turnarounds and surgery, Nicole lost over 300 pounds. All right, okay. okay. June McKamey. McKamey appeared on My 600 Pound Life with what her girlfriend called a fast food addiction. Longtime partner Sadie was buying fast food for McKamey on a daily basis sometimes Ooh. making up to three trips out a day in order to avoid confrontation. She acts like an addict, oh, Sadie yeah. said. When June first appeared on the show, she stated, I feel imprisoned into my body. I have three seats, the bed, the bathroom toilet, and my chair. My world is confined. I feel suffocated. My 600 pound life was just Damn. a show for June oh, yeah. as she, she ended up losing over 200 pounds from the works of Dr. Now and her dietary changes. I'm way hey. more mobile than I was almost a year ago. I'm not sick like I used to be, she said. I'm truly enjoying life again. Now that's, right. I love to see these success stories, you yeah, know what I'm nah, saying? People sure. making the change for the better and, you know, keeping that change. Cause once again, man, it's, it's easy to fall back down that slippery slope, but yeah, it is, you know, man. someone on, finally man. taking accountability, people trying to get them help and like, you know what? I need to change what i got going on or is this gonna kill me and actually doing it i commend you and i love to see it man oh yeah no for sure man taking accountability like you were saying and uh, owning up to it and making a change in your life because you know we're all important you know and instead of blaming because a lot of traumatic things cause mm -hmm. people it triggers them into these states too mm -hmm. you know just like how people go to drugs and other things some people choose food and they don't know how to stop eating and mm -hmm. overeating but the thing is you just killing yourself slowly and that's too much of anything to kill you so for sure you got to make sure you you know do things in moderation just learn how to control it so but mm -hmm. definitely dope to see these success stories and transformation of some of the people because it, it was mind-blowing to see mm -hmm. some of these but if y'all enjoyed it if y'all want us to check out some more of these you already know what to do make sure you want to like subscribe let us know what else uh we need to be checking out if we haven't already mm -hmm. keep on spreading love being that same love Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Alrighty. The bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.